Uh, fundamentally, to teach kids how to film a fairly complex story on location um, and to put all the challenges that go with location filming in front of them because in the real world of filmmaking it's how you overcome those challenges and problems on a, on a location film set that uh, basically sorts the good filmmakers out from the not so good. Yeah, it's 140 years old. It's uh, an old quarantine station. It's been uh, run now by the Department of Sport and Recreation for a number of years and is used uh, predominantly by uh, schools for school camps. But for us as filmmakers, it offers us a wonderful location. The buildings themselves are characters. Um, there's all sorts of fantastic old buildings here which provide a wonderful backdrop to our story. We've in fact had to change our story a few times simply because we've discovered new locations here that are just too good to leave out of the story. So we've made some adaptations to include those locations. What inspired you to make this film? Uh, for this particular film, it was really Lord of the Flies. We're living in a world at the moment where fear is being used by all sorts of people to manipulate others. And Lord of the Flies really is a film that addresses that as a theme. Um, it was written way back in the 50s during the Cold War and it's a story about a group of kids who get a um, cast on an island after a plane crash. Um, but those kids have to deal with their own fears and a lot of those fears are, are not real but others in that group learn how to manipulate those fears for their own advantage and of course we've got contemporary uh, examples of that happening right across the world at the moment where fear is being used as a political weapon. So thematically, it's a, it's a strong film for kids to make, um, but it's also got some interesting visual challenges because being on an island uh, that's not an island, we've got to cheat that, and uh, we had to contemporise the story to make it more modern, and uh, really pleased with the way that the Year 12s and the Year 7s have reconceptualised this whole story to turn it into something, if you like, of a 2016 um, teen slash adult um, thriller. Um, uh, fundamentally, we've made it more modern and we've asked kids to think about, you know, what would a modern audience want to see in a film that still has the same themes about fear and how that fear plays on people's minds, um, but just, just using some contemporary plot ideas and, um, and the input that the students have brought to the script has been absolutely amazing. Uh, well, there's two things. One is we hope, as all filmmakers do, that viewers are going to get some entertainment out of it because if we're not making entertaining films, um, filmmakers don't get employed. So that's the first thing and we're hoping that students learn the importance of making entertaining films. But secondly, for, for our students to actually learn how to make films. Um, that's the best way to learn how to make films, is to actually make them. Um, you can read textbooks, you can watch movies, but at the end of the day, unless you've got cameras and sound equipment and lights and editing software in front of you, um, it's really all theoretical. So to get out and actually do a film, make a film, is where the real learning takes place. So, that, so that's the other real impact we hope for our student audiences and the work that you guys are doing is behind the scenes, of course, where you're recording a lot of the things that we've been doing um, to make this film come to life. And uh, what are some potential challenges we might encounter? Okay, location shooting is always a challenge because um, filmmakers love to have control over their film set. The moment you're on location, you've got things like the weather to deal with, uh, rain and wind and noise. You've got, as you can probably hear in the background there, we've got the noise of trains uh, bringing wood chips into Albany. Um, so those sounds bring with them special challenges. So we have to we have to learn how to deal with those sound challenges. We have to learn how to deal with things like equipment malfunctions. How do we problem solve that when we're on location and things don't work? Uh, how do we deal with uh, cast and crew illness where we have to replace someone either permanently for a, if, they, if they're too ill to continue the shoot or for half a day if they're incapacitated for half a day. So all of those things are really important problem solving skills, teamwork skills that are really part of the territory of filmmakers. And uh, how are you feeling about this film so far? I've been really, really proud of the way the students have worked as a team. We've got teams within teams, so we've got a camera team, we've got your team behind the scenes, we've got teams of actors, we've got sound team, 
We've got data wrangling teams, and what I've been really pleased with is how those teams individually have worked with each other, but then how each team has then worked with every other team to, to keep things flowing along when we do have problems. So far, we haven't had any dummy spits. Everyone has dealt with problems in the way that filmmakers have to do. You, you become um, solution focused so that you can keep on as much as possible your shooting schedule. Um, and that's why I've been really proud of the kids because they have always remained solution focused, team focused, and uh, that's a core skill in filmmaking. So my name is Mr Ward, uh, I would be considered executive producer on this but basically a supervisor for this production. What does that mean? So as a supervisor, because I've had experience as director, um, assistant director, um, cinematographer and sound, uh, they got me in here running around just getting everybody organised for the first couple of days, uh, making sure they know their roles and then the, the goal here is that you have people like me as supervisors we kick your butt for a couple of days and then after that we sit back and we watch you guys take over and start doing what you're supposed to be doing. And that way it gives you more what we, what we would call in industry relevant experience. What's it like working in Albany? It's a great location. It'd be nice doing it during summer because it's really cold, as you could probably tell. But as you can see behind me, it is a really good location and it works really well with the story that the students and Mr. Pheasant have picked. So I'm Mrs McLennan, Head of Production Design. What jobs does your role involve? I've sort of been overseeing the makeup, costumes, set design, um, but also helping out with all the other elements as well. How are you finding it? Pretty exciting. It's good. Fun. What's it like to be working in Albany? Cold. <laughs> Is that what everybody says? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Describe Camp Corridor. Um, it's pretty old, but it's got a nice rustic charm. It's good. What challenges have you faced? The cold. <laughs> what things have worked well? Uh, I think everyone's worked pretty well together. Teamwork's um, been a really important part of it, so it's been good. I'm impressed. I, I, I played Jaden, and he's kind of a dick to everyone that he talks to, but. Um, yeah, he's, he's a very interesting one to play. We're not up to that question yet, but that's fine. So how's that going? It's going well. Um, at, at first I didn't really know what to do, because um, I haven't acted for years and he's not someone I'm good at playing, but yeah, it's going well. And what are some things you enjoy about it? Um, I enjoy kind of letting out some of the, in, in his angrier moments, I enjoy yelling and, you know, <laughs> releasing some stress. Oh, what are some challenges you face? Um, his personality is not at all like mine, so I found it hard to get into character on set, but um, yeah, it's just taking practice. Cool. Uh, what is it like working in Albany? Albany's cold. Very, very cold. <laughs> uh, and can you describe Camp Quarrenup? Camp Quarrenup's a beautiful place. Um, I'd never ever come here again just in a t-shirt, which I have to be a lot, but yeah, it's very nice. Well, I play Sam and she is Jaden's brother and she is a strong and independent woman. How's that going for you? Hard at first, but it's all right. Um, what are the things you enjoy about that role? I enjoy all the things that I get to do. Like, I get to be mean to my own brother in the movie, and yeah, just I have fun doing it. Have you faced any challenges? I was actually sick yesterday, but. Right. What's it like working in Albany? Cold, very cold. Describe Albany. Cold. <laughs> I play Lexi and Lexi's like a sassy character. And how is that going? Okay. And what are some uh, some things you enjoy about it? Um that I can yell at people. Okay. 
What are some challenges you face? Um, the rain, okay. washing off the makeup. And what is it like working in Albany? It's cold. I'm Ben and he's the one who's always tired and bullied by Jaden. Uh, how is that going for you? Um, pretty good. Uh, what are some things you enjoy about it? Um, I get to look at, um, feel acting firsthand, um, and have a camera at me, looking at me all the time. Uh, what are some challenges you face? Um, probably the limping. The limping's hard. Uh, what is it like working in Albany? Cold. <laughs> uh, describe Camp Corona. Um, pretty peaceful place with a lot of um, historical places. Um, dorms are quite nice. Yeah, giant dunny over there. <laughs> um, is there any challenges you face, such as like you don't get enough sleep, or you waking up really early? Waking up really early. Is it difficult for you working in the weather? as acting, like your costumes and stuff? Yes, I have a very cold costume. I have to wear one shoe all the time. My name's Hunter and I play Harry. So, describe your character that you're playing. Well, my character's like a person who's scared all the time, um, gets pushed around, doesn't get listened to. Okay. Uh, how is that going? It's going good. Um, almost we've had to go shoot Sonic. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you enjoyed about it? I enjoy um, being scared, getting pushed in a grave. Uh, what are some challenges you face? Challenges is um, getting this why on me, not breathing. Uh, what is it like working in Albany? Cold. <laughs> I haven't really got much sleep. I've been getting up six o'clock in the morning every day. Yeah. Um, I've been freezing, quite real cold. 